Bonjour, my name is Monsieur. In this episode, I show you how to take this daylight photo and add some rain. Bonjour, my name is Monsieur. My name is Serge Ramini. I'm a French photographer from the amazing city of Paris, France, right now in Los Angeles. And I make two tutorials per week in 2019. That's my challenge. So subscribe to my YouTube channel with clicking the little bell so you can be sure that you get notified every time I make a video. In this episode, I'm going to give you some amazing free, completely free rain brushes where you can take your photos and turn it from day to under heavy rain. You can download the brushes. The link is below this video. I'm going to show you the whole workflow right now. All right, so how to add rain? Well, we're going to start off with this photo, which is a photo I shot last month while I was doing my book on uh, Paris. And it, it was after the rain, but I want to simulate like I shot it under heavy rain or at the beginning of a heavy rain. So we have to do some retouching first in Lightroom and then we'll do some magic in Photoshop. And I'm going to give you the raw file and I'm going to give you all the brush that I use or most of the brush that I use for free. Uh, you can download them under this video. So, uh, to start off, I'm going to uh, bring on the highlights because I want to get that that clouds coming back here. I'm going to do the black. I'm going to do the white point. I want to add a lot of blue to make it cold, like if it was, you know, Paris in the winter, you know. Add some contrast. Okay. And maybe we make the, the sky even a little darker, the top of the sky. So, I'm going to take a gradient. And then I'm going to use the Lumina, Luminos mask, which is really cool. Uh, and I'm going to put it uh, really low like this. Like So uh, what it's going to do is gonna, it's going to make this. Let me overdo it so you can see. You see I have a gradient here. It's darker. And now when I move the range, it goes behind the Eiffel Tower and behind the, the buildings and only affects the, sky, uh, the, the clouds. So check it out. Before, after, you see mostly the sky is being affected. Now, I went a little too strong, so I'm going to back it down. And uh, and now it's time to bring on the rain. So to bring on the rain, I'm going to start with in Lightroom with taking a brush, making sure my feather is 100, my flow is 100, my density is 100. And then I'm going to add clarity. Okay. And so I'm going to paint with clarity. And look at this. It's going to make this whole thing shiny. But I'm going to add contrast too. To make it darker and I might let's see the highlights bring down the highlights or boost the highlights and crush the blacks so all of this is happening in one brush stroke check this out it's just one brush strokes and I'm making this completely wet isn't that crazy now it's too saturated so you can just lower the saturation you know so it doesn't look too saturated I mean I want a bit of saturation but now it looks a lot more wet doesn't it so you know I repeat, I added contrast, I had a clarity, uh, I boosted the highlights and I crushed the blacks, which basically gives even more contrast in one shot. And if you want to go crazy, you can click on new and just add a second brush stroke with the same value. So uh, let's create a clarity, crushing the blacks, crushing the blacks, adding contrast, and uh, maybe boosting the highlights. Okay, and that's going to make it even more crazy. So you can add brush on top of brush, and of course, it's too saturated again, because when you add contrast, it adds saturation. Okay, on this one, I think I'm going to lower the contrast on the second. It's just too much. It's becoming too much. You know what? I'm even going to erase it. I think one brush stroke is enough. Uh, oh, I don't know. No. Okay. Let's do another one, but maybe a little bit lighter. So a little bit of clarity, a little bit of contrast. Let's start with that. And your paint, and especially here is the cobblestones. And then the, maybe boost the highlights. Yeah, boost the highlights, lower a little bit the saturation. Okay, so that's without the brush strokes. Okay, and that's with the brush strokes. Now, I would say that's a major difference, you know, and like I'm gonna simulate that the rain is coming here. I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. In fact, I wanna make this a bit darker because if it starts raining, it wouldn't, it would already be darker. So. Let's make another brush and uh, let's go to exposure, lower the exposure and then brush some blacks here. I'm basically brushing blacks. Well, it's way too strong uh, because my brush is at 100. When it's at 100, it's crazy. So we just can lower that a little bit and then maybe just kill the highlights. And again, well, not that much. 
not that much. It's so powerful. Okay, but now it looks uh, now it looks a lot darker. All right, I'm gonna create a virtual copy so I can see the before and after. The reason why I don't use a backslash key is because I tested so many things. So you're gonna see my last test. So that's the before, and that's the after. Now that's just Lightroom. Now let's take it into Photoshop and go crazy. We are in Photoshop, and now I want to add the rain. So I'm going to give you a pack for free of preset. Under the video, all you have to do is click the first link that's right under the video. And then you put in your email address. You click on sign up for free. And then you have to enter your name, uh, first name, last name, create a password. And boom, it takes you in the library and you can just click here, view, and then you can download the source files. So that was for my last video, but it's gonna be the same thing for this video. Now back onto our tutorial. Once you download the brush, it will be a zip file. You double click on it to unzip it. You're gonna get this free weather brush 2019. All you have to do is double click on it and that's it. You don't even have to restart Photoshop. It's there, it's crazy. Okay, once you install the brush, you take brush, you make sure your opacity is 100. Let's take a very light blue color, okay? And then let's go here, and I'm using a Photoshop, I believe, 20.01, just because they change, you know, very often the presentation. On Adobe Photoshop 20, if you go here, just make sure brush name, brush stroke, and brush tip is, is marked. And then you can make this bigger or smaller, so make it really big. You want to look at the folder called Free Weather Brush 2019. I'm going to take the first one, which is a small, uh, small rain. Okay, I'm going to click on this one because I want to make the rain to be a little bit tilted like this. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool, like if it was coming from the right side. Okay, and then I'm going to create a new layer that I'm going to call Small Rain. Okay, and I'm going to go and I'm going to brush. Okay, and you, at first you're not gonna see, you're gonna see it more against, you know, dark things. And uh, what you do is you kind of like, you know, you just brush with your mouse and we will randomize it even more later on. And uh, you see the brush is, the the good thing is that the, the ran is like slightly, you know, going this way. Look at this, if you zoom in, it's kind of cool. So let me take the B for brush back and you just brush, 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 brush. And to make it, to randomize it even more, uh, I mean, I wanna make like, this is gonna look like heavy rain afterwards, you know. Uh, once I've done that, and uh, this brush looks quite realistic, in fact, I'm gonna make a layer, and in this layer, I'm gonna do the filter, render, cloud. Okay, and by doing that, it's gonna randomize even more of the, the brush strokes. Okay, next, I'm gonna add another one called uh, middle size rain or middle rain, we could call it kind of easier. And now B for brush, let's go here and take the middle, middle one. Same thing, I wanna make them slanted a little bit, so I'm gonna go here, boom, and c'est parti mon kiki, as we say in France. Uh, let me turn that off. And look at that, this one is like heavy rain, put it a bit everywhere, look at that. Okay, and same thing here, I, I wanna, I'm gonna randomize it, so I'm gonna create a, a new mask, I'm gonna go to filter, render, and this time I, I'm gonna use different clouds, so I have some different clouds, not the same as the first one, so it's a bit more randomized. Okay, now, let's add some splash to it, to make it even more cool. So we're gonna go here, and I'm gonna go and take the, uh, so we've got three different uh, splashes, small, medium, and large. Let's take the small one first. You will hardly see them. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Because they are so small. You see, they sort of match this little rain. This really small, small part. But to use all three, and I'm, you know, I'm giving you a whole bunch. Now I have like a professional pack uh, of special effects where you have a lot more type of rains, a lot more type of splashes you know, uh, and the link is gonna be below this video. You can check it out if you want and purchase this if you really wanna take your photos to the next level. But the free pack is gonna get you, this is only using the free pack. So I added, let's call it small splash. Small splash. So you'd only do it at the bottom of the photo, of course. And then let's add the middle splash. 
And you know, the full pack has like puddles and so many things. So middle splash, B4 brush. Let's go and take the impact, which are like this one. And uh, this creates, yeah, there's a lot of impact there. Boom, boom, boom. Let's use it here. Now it's like, it's raining, it's raining. And same thing here. If you think you went too far, you can go to filter. Uh, you can, sorry, add a mask. And you go to filter, blur, no, render, clouds. And uh, you know, in case you don't know what clouds look like, you can hold on the option key. That's what the mask looks like. So anything which is white is gonna be where you can see the splash and black you cannot see and it's completely randomized. So it just looks a little more legit. Okay, let's carry on. Let's make a big splash now. Big splash. And what I love about brushes, it's you just double click on it and it's installed. It's so easy. You don't have to restart Photoshop and oh, B for brush, you know, and then all that good stuff. And uh, so impact, what is the impacts? All right, so these are big impacts. So this one, not gonna use everywhere. Yeah, they're a little too bright. So command Z to undo. Uh, I think they're too big. I'm just gonna make it smaller. It just doesn't fit. And I'm gonna make this a little more dark. Dark, darker like this, maybe. Now it's too saturated. All right, you have to find the right color. So I can also just, you know, go here and use uh, this color, like the black color. Let's see here, uh, like a, a white, uh, light, lighter color. Just want to add some splash here and there, the big splash, maybe here in the foreground. Voila, the rain just started. And you look at it from far, yeah, the big splash, you know what, I'm going to lower the opacity. I'm not a, not a huge fan. Just add a little bit of it, seeing it's too much. But uh, that looks like it rained in Paris, you know? And voila, so let me show you the before photo. That's the before photo. And that's the final result. Have fun downloading this pack, install it, it's free. And turn your day photo into uh, like a crazy sort of night and rain photo. It's really cool to do. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Don't forget to download the source files and I'll see you in another video. Au revoir.